Hi there guys, my name is Jacob and welcome back to the channel. Now, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has watched uh, the last video that I put up on the channel about my solar panels and battery system. Uh, currently, as of right now, the video has got about 1500 views, which to be honest is amazing. I mean, it's been a long time since a video of mine uh, broke through a thousand views. So, you know, that's incredible news. So just thank you. If you're one of the people that have watched it, Thank you very much. Now, in that video, uh, in the comments, I've had a number of questions. Um, so in this short video, I just thought I would answer a few of those questions and also show you the panels on the roof and also the inverter and the battery that is in the garage. Because again, in the questions, uh, people were asking, you know, can you show us the panels? Can you show us the equipment? Things like that. So I just thought I'll make a quick video and just cover those things. So without further ado, let's go into the garden. Right then guys, we're out in the garden. Now I'm just gonna walk down to the bottom of the garden and then I'll turn around and I'll show you the panels. Right then, now as you can see, these are the panels on the back of my house and these are eight 440 watt panels. And I've got another five on the side of the roof, on this side, but I actually can't show you those at the moment because I can't actually see the side of my house from the back. But as you can see, uh, they are generating really well at the moment. I'm currently getting about 3.6 kilowatts um, from all the panels. And I assume because the sun is on these panels mostly at the moment, being the south facing panels, that these are probably doing the majority of the work right now. Uh, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. So there you go. That is what it looks like on the back of the house. They have pretty much maximized the entire roof space apart from just a little bit of room here and a little bit of edging room, which they couldn't really do a lot with. But they really have made the most of the panels and done a really good job, I think. Right then, let's head inside and I will show you the battery and the inverter. Right then, guys, I'm back inside. So let's head through to the garage and I'll show you where the battery and the inverter is. <clears throat> Right then, just into my garage, which is a bit of a mess at the moment, to be quite honest. Should have tidied that up. But, in fact, I'll close the door. As you can see, uh, this is the battery at the bottom. This is a Gen 3 9.5 kilowatt Give Energy battery. And you can see the logo of Give Energy there. And as you can see, the battery on the front, the icon, is just flashing because it is currently uh, in a state of charging from the solar panels. So it just flashes. And each one of these represents about 25%. And obviously that will stay illuminated green once it is at 100. Now, as you can see, we've got my gas boiler over here. So they both pieces of equipment are smaller than the boiler. I know a lot of people in the comments were saying, well, how big is this equipment? Um, and I will put the dimensions of both the battery and the inverter in the description box. But as you can see, next to the boiler, they are quite a bit smaller. But obviously, if you put them both together, they are probably about the same size as a gas boiler together. But you have also got to factor in that there is, uh, you know, different bits of wiring that have got to come down to link in from the inverter to the battery. And there's also another bit of wiring coming in from outside that links up and through into the inverter. And there's like a safety power switch here that if there was any issues, we can cut off from the grid so somebody can work on it safely. But there you go. So that is a Gen 3 9.5 kilowatt battery. And this is a Gen 3 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter. And that is what I've got in the garage. And it's a perfect place for it, to be quite honest. Um, putting it in the garage um, shelters it from the rain, uh, the wind, you know, the worst of the cold. And even though they are technically allowed to be outside, they are weatherproof. So if you don't have a garage space or an internal space that you can put it, they can be put outside. But I think what they do recommend is this type of equipment, and it's different for all equipment, so you will have to look this up yourself. But for my equipment, you can put them outside, but they do recommend that you put some form of shelter either over the top of them uh, to obviously shelter them from the worst of the rain or you build some form of cabinet or, you know, some kind of boxing that you kind of shelter them from the worst of the weather. 
but they are technically waterproof and weatherproof. So, you know, they can just go on an external wall outside if you don't have the luxury of a garage space or somewhere inside like I have. Right then guys, another popular question from the last video was about the tariff that I've moved on to. Now, the tariff I've moved on to is with Octopus Energy and it is called Octopus Go. And with that tariff, I basically get a very cheap slot in the night that I can charge the battery. And that is from half 12 till half five. And that is for 8.5 pence per kilowatt that I take from the grid. And then for the rest of the day, it's quite an expensive rate, which is about 25, 26 pence uh, per kilowatt. So that's obviously significantly more expensive than the night rate. But what it basically means is I can charge my battery to full from the grid overnight, and then I can use my battery for the, rem for the rest of the day. So whether there's any sun or there's no sun, it doesn't matter because my battery's charged and that will fulfill all my needs for the rest of the day. If the sun does come out and I get extra generation from the panels, then that's great. It will either top up my battery or when my export payments are set up, I will then sell that energy back to the grid. But one of the reasons why people kept asking me about this is because with Octopus Go, you're supposed to have an EV to be able to get onto that tariff. But I don't have an EV. And I know when you go onto the web page, onto the tariff information for Octopus Go, it specifically says you need to have an EV. So, of course, people were saying, well, how have you got onto this tariff? And quite simply, I just applied for it. Um, I didn't speak to anybody over the phone. I just simply went onto their website, went onto the tariff page, onto Octopus Go, and just applied. I logged in because I'm all, already a customer with them. Um, I put my information in, my old tariff, and I just clicked apply. And within three hours, they'd switched me over from my old fixed tariff onto Octopus Go. Three hours. So super quick switch over. And like I say, nobody asked me if I have an EV. Nobody asked me if I have an EV charger, although I do have an EV charger. I just don't have an EV. Um, but I've Googled this since, and I believe um, you do require an EV if you go onto the intelligent Octopus Go tariff, but not the Octopus Go tariff. So even though it does state it on their website, I think you can get around it and just basically apply Nobody asks you if you have an EV, if you're just on the standard Go tariff and you can get away with it. So you can actually benefit from those super cheap overnight prices. Um, the difference with Intelligent Octopus Go is if you sign up for that tariff, Octopus actually get in touch with you and they ask you to plug in your car, at which point they run a test and make sure that they can see your car through the system. Um, I don't know how they do it, but obviously they've got some incredible technology. And from their end, they can run a test and they can see if your car then sends, you know, a kind of signal back to them where they can detect the car. So obviously for the Intelligent Octopus Go tariff, for that to happen, you have to have an EV. But they don't do that with Octopus Go. So if you want to sign up to it, by all means, give it a go. And if you're not with Octopus Energy right now, I have a link down in the description box of this video that you can use, it's a referral link, and you'll get 50 pounds credit when you use it and sign up, and I will also get 50 pounds credit. So, you know, that would help me out massively, and it also helps you out too. So if you use it, I just wanna say a big thank you. Right then, guys, this was only supposed to be a short video, so I will leave it there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any further questions, please pop them down in the comments below. And if you wanna see anything else or know anything else, or just, you know, ask me something else, feel free. Um, I respond to pretty much everyone I can in the comments. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and I will catch you in the next one.